All right, so I have finished up my assignment. And I have an indexed HTML page. I have the style sheet. And now I want to render it and see how it looks. So I'm going to open up Windows Explorer. Uh, you can see that I have everything in, uh, in my online folder. I have my assignments and my lessons. So I finished my lesson already. And now I'm ready to go ahead and do my assignment. Well, I did my assignment. So my assignment three was to go ahead and create uh, the web page about myself. And I put it in that folder. You didn't have to put it in a separate folder. So I'm going to take that index and I'm going to right mouse click on it and tell it I want to go ahead and open it in Google Chrome. And so I'll select that and then I will go to the page. Okay, so here's the page in Google Chrome that I have created. And I take a look at it and I say, oh, well, I got a problem. This thing is not matching down here. Uh, now, I'm not that particular. I'm not going to take a point off if that was not matching, but you might want to make it right. So let's go ahead and what we want to do is we're going to say, well, the text in this one makes this uh, section larger than the aside is or the or the height of that different. So we want to increase the height of the aside. So we're going to do that, of course, with the CSS. So I'm going to right mouse click on the page and say I want to inspect that element. And it's going to open up the inspection tool that's going to allow me to actually uh, do a little what if, you know, change a property and see how it changes. It's not actually in the source code. It's just on the page. And then I can change my source code so that it fits. So, okay, when I open it up, on the left-hand side is my HTML. My problem is my aside because my aside is using that start box. Um, and here we have, we can see that the start box has the border and the padding. But the aside itself has these three properties. And if I scroll down here, we can see that well, it's just not matching up. This is not quite the right height. So what I can do is I can go in here and say, well, what happens if I change the height? Now, there's no height property, so I'll have to go ahead and add it. H -T, oops, G -H -T. Okay, and if I give it a height of, say, 250 pixels, let's see how that changes it. Okay, now I made a mess because now it is higher than that, and now I have that extra one. Uh, so I can make actually make the wrapper green. That's what we did in the last one, so that filled that in. But let's go ahead and uh, make this better. So I'm going to come down here where it said height 250 pixels. I'm going to click into it, and you see now it's darkened. Uh, you can't see me do it, but I'm using the arrow keys on the keyboard to say, well, what happens if I make it smaller? So if I, I'm holding it down now, and you can see that it's, whoa, it's making it smaller smaller and see now it's too small so I use the up key and you can see down here it's changing it so 182 83 84 85 ah, right there 186 pixels is what's going to uh, make this work exactly as I want so let's see I can go ahead and copy that then go into back into sublime into my CSS and I can say, okay, well, there is my aside. And what I want to do is I want to add that height of 186 pixels. Now, I haven't saved it yet. So I'm going to go back here first, and I'm going to close this. And then I'm going to refresh the page. So you can see now it's going to go back to the way it was. So now I'm going to go back to Sublime and save this file. And once I save it, now this property is saved. So when I come back here and refresh it, sweet. All right, so that is now, that's exactly how I want it. I'm ready to submit the assignment. So I have to go to uh, Free Hosty in order to do that. So let's go into my Free Hosty account. Remember, I created that the other day. Um, and this is not it. So it's, uh, it's, TH, yeah, Sobra 166, and I go ahead and log in. So I just created this the other day. I haven't done anything else to it. Uh, first thing I'm going to check when it comes is see if there's a green check mark next to the name of my domain once it finishes rendering, because that's going to let me know then. So, all right, so what I want to do is go into my domains. and do hosted domains All right, 
and then when it comes up, I can see that, oops, that is a green check. Great. So now I'm ready to go ahead and submit my assignment. Well, I can put this. In fact, let's go see what happens. If I go into, um, so Tom Brady XYZ, let me see if I can copy that. Excellent. Control C. If I go in here and I paste in my address, it's going to go there and now remember the Tom Brady 55 is at one and one. So it goes to the one and one. That server says, hey, it's not here. It's back in the DNS one. And here it says index of. And that's because there's nothing here. So I don't have anything yet inside that, um, inside my main domain folder. So let's go and uh, I'm going to go ahead and add something. Um, I'm going to do this with Notepad. Let's do this. So I'm going to create an HTML. Can you do this Sublime? But I have that other thing open in Sublime. I don't feel like changing it. So what I'm going to do is um, I think let's go ahead and do it in Sublime as well, right? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and create another file. So we'll do file, new file, and then I'll go ahead and save that file. File and save. Oh, there's a problem. I already have something called index index.html. So there's my problem. Um, and that's why I didn't want to do it this way. All right, so I'm going to go ahead back to the notepad file. My problem is I can only have one file called index.html in that folder. So I'm going to go ahead and just do it in notepad. Uh, just to show you how easy it is. If I do this, h1, welcome to Tom's website. And then close that h1. You notice I didn't put anything else in this at all. Um, I'll do file and then save as uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my drive 162 online I don't even go into lessons uh, week 3 not lessons I want to go into online and assignments, assignment three. Okay, and I have this folder here, so I can call this index.html. First, I'm going to change this to all files and then change this to index.html and then save it. Since I already have an index.html in the other folder, so now I'm going to upload that file to my root directory. So let's go back in here. I need to go into the file manager. And when I get to the file manager, I'm going to see a folder with the same name as my domain name. That's my root uh, folder. Okay, so here comes file manager. Still thinking. Loading. Okay, so this Tom Brady 55 XYZ, uh, that's my root directory. So if I double click on it, it's going to put me inside that folder. Right, and it's an empty folder. So now I'm going to go over to the right here. That's a little clumsy. And I'm going to go ahead and upload a new file. Okay, then I'm going to go back to my E drive or my F drive, whatever it is, USB drive, 162, online, assignments, three, and there's my index at HTML. I'm going to open it up and then upload. Okay, now it's going to take that file and put it up. So now I have an index file. I have something for it to send back. 
So let's go back over to this file where I had index of, and that was just there because I had no other files. Then I refresh it. What? Welcome to Tom Brady's site. So it's showing me that index page. But I don't want you to put your assignment in there. Let's go back here. Whoops, not there. Let's go back to Freehostia and go to My Domains. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a subdomain that's within the regular domain. We have up to 15 that we can use, so might as well use them. All right, so here is in my domains, and you can see that. Let me move this up. Okay, so there's my domains. I have a button over here also that says create a subdomain. So I'm going to go ahead and create a subdomain. That's going to ask me, what do you want to call it? And I'm going to call this um, assignment three. So it's, the address is going to be assignment three dot Tom Brady 55 XYZ. So I'm going to go ahead and, and add that host. And shebang, I have now created it. So then if I come down here, you can see now I have a plus sign next to my 55. And there's my assignment three subdomain. So this is completely different from this. It's just like two separate folders. So now let's go and put our assignment up in it. So let's first do this. I'm going to go ahead and copy this address. Oops. And paste that into another address. So I'm going to get a blank tab. I'm going to paste it in. And then go there, and it should tell me index of again or nothing. And it's telling me nothing. Good. Oh, it does say the index of. All right, so let's go back to Freehostia. And let's go back to the file manager. So we'll go up, click on files, file manager. Okay, and then if I scroll down. There we go. If I scroll down, you can see now I have a new folder, and that's the assignment three folder. So I'll double click on that. Now I could upload all the files individually, but I have a folder in there too. I'd have to create the file. So uh, let's just do it the easy way, and that is this right here is my solution. I'm going to select all three files, or the folder and the two files. Then I'm going to right mouse click and choose send to compress zip folder. All right, so now I have this, um, I'm just going to call this, let me just call this assignment, doesn't matter what I call it, three. So now I'm going to upload this and unzip everything. So let's go back to Freehostia now that I've zipped everything up. I'm inside that folder. So once again, I have to go to the top and tell I want to upload a file. Okay, that file is in this my web page, and there's a zip file. Now, one of the things I want to do is I want to extract it automatically, so I don't have to do that extra step. And then upload. So you can see that I have now all these files plus this uh, assignment three zip. Um, I can get rid of that. So if I click on that file, we don't need that anymore. Off to the right here is a delete file. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete the zip. The, the zip file. I don't. You don't have to do that, but why keep it in there? It's only 11 kilobytes. Not going to kill us. All right, so there's our files, and they're in the assignment three. So now if I go back to 
Uh oh. Okay, now if I go back to my domain name, so there is my assignment three domain. It had nothing in it before. When I hit refresh, sweet, there is my assignment. All right, so now what you're going to be doing is you're going to be copying this and putting that into the comments area and then taking your zip files, which are still in here and uploading them to the Dropbox. So zip goes into the Dropbox and the address goes into the comments and you are done.